A number of years ago, Austin brought a friend over to our family Thanksgiving since her family was on the East Coast and she couldn't make it back home with them. I, of course, quietly grilled dad, is this a thing? Are they dating? Because Austin had never brought a girl over for anything. I was told, no, they're just friends. I remember with incredible clarity saying back, well, I hope he marries her because I hate everyone, but I really like her. Now I'm running. I'll also never forget when Austin went off to the U of A and joined the dodgeball team. He put a photo up on Facebook of him next to a girl, and I thought to myself, okay, who's that? <laughs> when I pressed him if he was interested or pursuing her, he said, no, 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 we were just friends. I didn't believe that for a second, folks. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, I'm turning. Wow, you look beautiful. Hi. Hi. I missed you this morning. Do you feel better now? Yes. That's good. I was nervous until I saw you. The one thing I feared most is that Jessica would be hurt very much by a boy or a partner. Um, that never seemed to happen. She always seemed to want to move on to something. <laughs> along, com along comes Austin, this kind, funny, lovable guy who felt so natural as a part of our family. He respected and complimented Jessica so well. Um, Jessica's fierce independence, but more importantly, he could understand this gentle spirit that lit underneath. Each of you have been invited here today because you represent someone very important in the lives of the bride and groom. Thank you to all of you who have traveled to be here so that Jess and Austin can be surrounded by the people dearest to them on this special day. This was a good idea. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have a great day. Their love story began in the most romantic of places found right here in Edmonton. Here they met and developed an amazing friendship. Naturally, they eventually outgrew Lister and decided to give being roommates a try. After two years of living together, countless hints and not so subtle suggestions from family members and friends, they finally decided they should date. I live with Austin and Jess actually, so I can say that their home is filled with laughter, love, and most importantly, snacks all the time. <laughs> Jess will always make sure the freezer is stocked full of ice cream and the house is filled with love. Those who have, who have these two humans in their lives are lucky beyond measure. They are a team facing everything together and supporting each other in ways both loudly and in ways more subdued. They will face, face things together, will make each other laugh while eating a lot of ice cream <laughs> with a menagerie of creatures and they will make a beautiful life together. Jess, we knew the first time we met you that you fit right into our family. You are also very kind and thoughtful. I could not have picked a better partner for my son. Well done, Austin. He's my son too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Austin, every day since the first day that I met you, you have made me feel like I belong. Over time, that has become one of my favorite things about you, your inherent ability to make everyone feel safe and welcome. You give everyone the silent permission to be exactly who they are, and you make me feel more like myself, and I know that I will never waste time translating my soul because you really see me. The classic adage is that opposites attract but I don't necessarily believe that to be true. I think it's more important to find the person who's your complement. And I think a complement is a person who shares your goals, your feelings, and your outlooks on life, but fills in the gaps in the areas of your life where you are deficient, so that when you come together, it's like puzzle pieces revealing the full image. I believe that you are my complement, and I'm so excited to marry you. You have become my home, the place I feel comfortable, and I enjoy every part of life more when I get to share it with you. Away, 
I promise to support you when you get a crazy idea in your head about something that you want to do or an event that you want to plan. Because if I'm honest for a second, sometimes you can be super extra and over the top of that. But I know that these desires typically stem from wanting to create a good experience for others and to make them feel welcomed. There are so many things that I could promise to you today and I will always keep adding to this list because I'm extra. <laughs> but here are a few of my favorites. I promise to spend the rest of my life laughing with you and most likely laughing at you. I promise to choose you every day, to take care of you, and to love you even when you leave your socks all over the floor. <laughs> I promise to fill our house with even more creatures for us to love, fur and human, <laughs> and always to buy extra tortilla chips just for you. <laughs> I promise to take care of you and bring you comfort in all the ways that I can. Sometimes that's going to mean bringing you a pint of ice cream when you're burnt out from work, which by the way, you can and do completely demolish. <laughs> Finally, and most importantly, I promise to really love you. Sometimes love flows easily and other times it takes work and effort. No matter what though, I promise to direct my love towards you. I promise to make every day as exciting as Christmas morning and to always be your number one fan, your best friend, and your family. Most importantly, I promise to never forget that we have a once in a lifetime friendship and love and to always put us first. And I can't wait to spend forever with you.